Ladies and gents, this is not a drill. It's actually here. We have a trailer. I just got home and I saw this pop up into my recommended. Like I started the showcase and then I see a whole bunch of people freaking out about this. I haven't seen any of this yet. We're jumping right into this. I'm freaking out right now. Oh, we finally have Zulk Song news. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, Bell Beast. Oh, geez. Okay, current riding. Okay, we figured that... Okay, this is just ridiculous. Look at all this! We're gonna take a quick look at some of this stuff frame by frame in a couple seconds, but I just wanted to see this all the way through. Look at how cool this is! This is our first official Silk Song content in so long! Oh no! A climbing platforming against rising lava. Look at this stuff! Hey! That was, uh... Oh, what's his name? Those two together, I can't remember the names. Look at these! This is Hi, Lace! This is ridiculous! Look at this! <laughs> That's awesome! Day one with Game Pass. Okay, what, what does that mean exactly? I don't know what it means, but we're going to look at this stuff frame by frame and see what we can glean. Okay, so, first of all, this looks like it could be a transitionary area between Moss Grotto and the lava area? Uh, uh what? Jeez, it's... I'm blanking on it immediately. Um... Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. I got this. Deep Docks. Jeez, that took way longer for me to remember the name of than it should have. But this looks like a transitionary area between Deep Docks and Moss Grotto. The reason I say that is because we got all this greenery, which implies Moss Grotto or at least something similar to it. And then all this very volcanic, craggy rock that looks very reminiscent of what we saw of... Deep Docks during the E3 demo so long ago. Okay. Hunt for the fate of a fallen land. Or of a haunted land. Okay, this looks like... I would say it's a similar sort of area with the, the grays and greens together, but this looks slightly different. It almost looks like more of a transitionary area between Moss Grotto and possibly Graymoor? That's what my thought is here. Uh, let's continue. All right, some int some cool platforming there. Let's look at that again quick, shall we? Okay. Yeah, this looks like it might be a, a section of Greymore, actually. Also, notice the thumbtack tool over there, b below the health bar. Interesting. There's the There was a shot of the Bell Beast. Hold on, let's go back to that quick. Uh, a little further. Come on. Man, this stuff goes by so fast. Yep, there's the Bell Beast. And this appears to be... It's like a, a stag station? Like, the Bell Beast, we saw Hornet riding on it in the original trailer. And we know it's called the Bell Beast. But it's hard to tell. Do we have to, rather than paying a toll, do we have to fight it at every station? In order to ride it? Okay, this nuts-looking platforming over... I see William Pellin has got his hands on buzz saws again and decided to mix it with the nightmare that is the deep nest floor of writhing creatures. It's just literally a floor of writhing saw blades. Okay, so this is cool. This is very clearly a section, like probably a northern section of Moss Grotto. The platforming doesn't seem all too complex, though it is spaced out pretty far. But this air current riding, that is very interesting. And there we see in the toolbar... Lifeblood, the lifeblood syringe on the left, and what is the other thing? It's kind of hard to tell. Is that like, it almost kind of, kind of looks like nuts of some sort? Maybe a satchel? It's kind of hard to tell on my screen. But also, noticing that the tools, they have a um, quantity bar, which we figured, like the you can see the, the nut looking item is partially used, like some of them have been used. 
but there's also like an arrow indicator. Like the lifeblood syringe has a top and a bottom. I wonder if similar to games like, um, well, the most recent example for me would be Elden Ring. Uh, the arrow keys can't be used like on a keyboard or on, on a controller. The arrow keys can't be used to move the character anymore. You have to use the joystick which I'm perfectly okay with. I never use the D-pad anyway when I'm playing Hollow Knight. But I wonder if the D-pad is going to be used for tools. Because that would help with clearing out the face buttons. Because the face buttons, that's something I always wondered about with the limited buttons on a controller, considering the versatility tools are supposed to have in this game. So riding the air current. This is cool. This looks like... An easier white palace in that there's like it's pale white and there's thorns everywhere but this also looks like it could be connected to the arena where we see these the other the second lace fight I say second we don't know how many times they're going to fight but the initial deep docks fight from the e3 demo and then there was the one in the flower field the white flower field next to the elevator looking structure in the original trailer this looks like it's part of that area. Here we see deep docks with a really interesting sliding platform over a big lake of lava. Ooh, and there's a look at a new uh, crest icon for the health bar. The, the health bar changes depending on which crest you're wearing, and that's one we have not seen before. We have seen that item before, at least the icon for that item before. I'm not sure what that item is, though. It almost looks like a syringe of lava. That's cool. So yeah, it appears that this game is going to, much more heavily than the original game, focus on little platforming sections. Because we've seen several now. It's not so many enemies in this trailer, but platforming sections that are very interesting. I think that is the... Oh shoot, what is that called? We've seen that crest before uh, on the health bar. That's a new item though. Like, there's the item for the... Uh, the familiar that we saw in the original trailer that looks like a better get, uh, glowing womb in that you can choose when you throw them out rather than having them deplete resources you have or are desperately trying to hold on to in the original game Soul whenever they felt like it and just dive bombing whatever was nearby at the time. The new version of these familiars from what we've seen thus far looks much more intelligently designed in that one it uses a different fuel source it uses the bone shards or the shell shard uh secondary currency of this game to replenish it and two it also appears to be you can put them out whenever you want to rather than having them spawn at random and just attack whatever's nearby at the time so that way you're not constantly throwing away shell shards worth of familiars at things you don't necessarily need their help with killing the other item, I'm not sure what that is. It kind of, from this distance, it kind of looks like a rhinoceros beetle. I'll have to zoom in on that later and just do a bit more analysis. But let's continue. That's a big elevator. Hunt. Okay, we know about hunts and grand hunts from the mission boards we saw in the original trailer. And I wonder if grand hunts are more specifically missions to find specific mini bosses and... Regular hunts are more for fighting groups of enemies. That's possible, like a group of bandits attacking a village, or in this case, it looks like a group of bell cultists. And there we see that honey bottle looking thing that we saw in the uh, screenshots for Edge Magazine, as well as the triple uh, straight pins. And there's the corkscrew tool. Ooh, look at that crest. It looks like a harp. That is a very interesting crest. I like that a lot. Also, the UI for the silk is very interesting in this instance. It appears that the glow may pertain to being able to heal. While the extra notch of silk could be used for a different skill. Like, we've seen that the silk bar can be segmented. And I'm guessing each section marks where it will glow and indicate that you can heal. That's my thought, anyway. And we've seen this enemy before also in those screenshots. Ooh! Pausing right here, these almost look like... either... 
bell beast larvae maybe or maybe these are just completely new but this is like combat during platforming this is nuts looking okay we just saw her using oh she just threw the pimpillo that's awesome about to murk this dude in the air I'm not sure what that tool is it looks like a drill of some type i don't think that was what hold on let's back up and see if that's what she used when she did the drill downward okay a little further okay look at the drill tool meter we keep moving yes okay so that is a tool that looks like a tool the drill ability straight down that she used right here it appears to be a tool because we just saw it de deplete slightly when she used that ability to dive bomb this cultist. And then she just threw the pimpillo to merc the other one. Ooh, okay. Oh, these are... These are really cool, but quite unsettling looking uh, enemies. Oh, and she just killed that heavier enemy. Look in the bottom left. I wonder if that's a new... Uh, what's that called? Uh, Hunter's Journal icon. Like the equivalent of the Hunter's Journal in Farloom. That appears to be that. What's that ease? That. Yeah. I can words today. I'm sorry. I'm just so. I'm so happy we have Silk Song content. Also, Lifeblood Syringe. Okay. Can you just pop that? I would have thought that's like one or two uses before you have to sit at a bench. But no, that looks like three uses. And if you get two Lifeblood Hearts every time you use that. That's six extra hearts of health whenever you need it between benches. I wonder if benches are going to be less plentiful in this game, if that's the case. Otherwise, that seems quite broken. But I guess we don't know, one, how giant this game is going to be. We know it's probably going to be quite a bit bigger than the original game. Also, that's Death Seeds, her tool during the Sentinel fight in Kingdom's Edge. Ooh, one of the ants, and she's got her thumbtack trap out. Okay, those appears to be a cluster of tacks you throw out a little bit at a time. It appears you hold maybe four at once, judging by the, the meter. Unless that's not the case, and there's like way more that you throw out at a time. It just happens to be at the one quarter mark on the meter. But yeah, he appears to be standing on it. So yeah, if you throw that out and the boss... Le or the enemy stands on it. It's like a tick damage, I would assume. That's what I'm getting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just saw her use another attack, actually. Hold on. Let's back that up. Back that up a little bit. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Okay, okay, okay. So, she throws it out, and judging by this effect on the enemy, and the fact that the meter just depleted despite her... Oh, Wait, okay, she did throw more. It appears she, she throws four at once, like a cluster of four tacks. Okay, and it doesn't, like, judging by the effect right here, here the, the enemy takes damage from the tacks. Okay, wait a second. Okay, it appears you throw the tacks out. They take, okay. He lands on it here, takes damage. That's fine. Okay, she throws out a cluster of four more. Okay, so it is tick damage, because he just took another tick of damage from the same cluster of four from before. The Okay, so if that's the case, that means eight. You can throw eight clusters of four, judging by how that meter just depleted when she threw out that next cluster of four. That's a lot of... Like, I, I imagine the damage isn't fantastic, but that seems like pretty consistent tick damage that you can throw out eight times between bench sits. I would assume you'd want to keep that for, like, a heavier enemy, though. Okay, she just threw out a Death Seed. This is definitely in Greymore. That looks like a section of Greymore. You got the reeds. Or maybe that's not. Th this looks like the area we saw that had uh, cricket-looking things in it in the Edge Magazine screenshots. Okay. And uh, they mentioned this in the uh, Edge interview that some enemies will drop their weapons and Hornet can modify them to fit her style and use them herself. You can see this dude using this like pin spear and one of the items in Hornet's hotbar there seems to be a modified version of that very weapon. 
She also just threw out a death seed. It appears it's another one that is you can hold eight at once, judging how the meter just depleted. Oof, that's that's quite an explosive radius for that death seed. Okay, he just that spear. Okay, drops shell shards and rosaries. We knew this. I wonder if you can land in that water, actually. It looks like there's a pretty decent gap there. I would assume you can land in that. Maybe it slows you. That, 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 that would not be very fun if that actually slowed you, the water did. I imagine it's like you swim in it or it's shallow or something. It's probably just you swim in it. It kind of like the Royal Waterways, you want to get between platforms as fast as possible because you can't really fight effectively when you're swimming. Okay, so this appears to be the very deep docks ambush room from the E3 demo, but this time she has the triple pins and the harp crest. Cool. All right. Oh, that's a cool looking enemy design. Look at that. With that cool uh, burlap sack. Ooh, that's an interesting, like the the decoration, looks like a modified Dreamcatcher symbol. Very interesting. But his pitchfork is really cool looking. That's awesome. Okay, just bound. Wait, hold up. How much did she heal there? How much did she heal there? Back it up just slightly. Oh, the white screen. Okay, it is still three. Still three. And yes, you can see the uh, the main UI spool, like the big circle one, going away when she does that. Okay, so that does appear to be an indicator, a secondary indicator maybe even, that healing is available. Okay, maybe that is the, in the indicator that it's available. Back it up a little bit more. Oh, yes, yes, look, okay. So, there's the glow. The full spool, two notches of silk left after the glow. So then we move forward. That appears to be correct because look, you got the two notches left. That was the excess. And those two notches fit on the spool perfectly at the end of that. And then the, the main uh, entwining thing up top in the UI, like on the crest itself is going away as well. So the glow on the spool as well as the glow on um, the meter indicates when you can heal and that two notches left over indeed moves to the end cool and the notches on the spool indicate healing points that's really cool okay nice confirmation there this is really interesting the lava rising fight climb sort of thing this looks really interesting survive yeah that looks like what she's trying to do there all right, that's awesome. Okay, Pimpillo, that is interesting, the, the tool there. When does Xbox Games Pass come out? Because it mentioned day one. When is day one? Hold on. I'm going to Google this quick. Give me a second. Okay, so the Game Pass already exists. I don't know what I was thinking, but I think it's basically just saying... It's guaranteed that Silk Song will be on the Game Pass for Xbox players on release. So what we saw at the very end of this trailer on the first watch through, which honestly, this is such a big mess of little snippets. You don't really get to see anything specific until you break it down scene by scene like this. This is nuts. But yeah, day one of release, it will be on Xbox as well. That's awesome. All right, this climb here, this dude. Okay, this... This kind of looks like a section, like with the lava, I would assume it's part of Deep Docks, but the surrounding decor and this enemy type looks closer to... Okay, I wonder if this is just a different area entirely that merges two areas together because the uh, section with the worms falling from the ceiling while she's platforming from left to right earlier that I said kind of looked like beast, uh, Bell Beast larvae. This looks like the same sort of enemy family, like from the same area. So it seems like an area that's pretty heavy on metal and machinery and stuff, but also has the lava, but doesn't look anything like deep docks, really. Giant elevator falling. That is, that does not bode well. Oop. Okay. A little further, a little further. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Yeah, that's a plummeting elevator. That does not seem like it's very Gucci. 
Okay, there we see the beetle looking thing and the familiar again. A uh, Reaper crest. That's what that that uh, hexagonal, uh, like six point star crest is. And this looks like she's gaining a new silk ability, perhaps. And this must be the tower, the like the clock tower that we saw in the original trailer with the scissor enemies, because there's scissors everywhere. But yeah, this looks like a she's gaining a new silk ability, perhaps from this corpse here on this plinth. Very interesting. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Is she using an ability? Oh, wait a second. She might just be gaining more silk. Because look at the meter as she focuses here. She appears to be binding something. Yeah, she's gaining three notches of silk from this. I wonder if that just inherently happens when you get a new silk ability in this game. That would actually be very interesting if upon getting a new silk ability... You get three notches of silk so you can try it, or just like a certain amount of silk so that you can try out the new ability. That would make sense, actually. Vanquish. And we get to see this gigantic of a man. That's that's really cool. Actually, ugh. The more I look at it, I realize it looks more like a deer fly, a giant deer fly. Because those, those look like eyes. The big bulges on its head, those look like eyes. That's an enormous deer fly. And then we see that molten dagger looking thing again. Or maybe a bottle of lava? I don't know. It looks very molten, whatever it is. And there's like a crescent-shaped blade. Is, she, is that what she used there? No. It looks like whatever she did here, that's like an inherent uppercut move. And it looks... Okay, it looks like it used one notch... If that looks... No, she's gaining silk. Okay, so that uppercut appears to be an inherent a, a move that you can do... And she gained one last notch of silk, so she is now capable of healing. We see that there. Cool. Then we continue a little further. Uh, Garmin and Zaza. That's these two. These two. We see them as uh, NPCs in the original trailer, and they appear to be some friends that can fight bosses with us. That's awesome. <laughs> I love these two. Okay, so this appears to be what I would assume to be a Grand Hunt mission. That's going to be my assumption here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We just saw that, that move there. Oh, is that... Th that's the last judge. Hold on. Okay, so Garmund is protecting Zaza and himself at the moment from this attack from the Deerfly enemy here, who appears to be doing like a flurry attack downward toward them. Like, watch the, the enemy. It's like a downward flurry attack toward them. And here appears to be the boss with the last judge boss that we saw teased in the Edge magazine issue. And that there's that pile of nuts looking tool again and the spiral dive. Oh, man. <laughs> what are these guys? They've got like drill heads. Wait, is this part of this doesn't really look like Forest of Bones. Like, I saw the red and assumed something similar to the Forest of Bones with the ants and stuff, but no, this is... Or at least the, the ant area, I guess. We don't know if that's the Forest of Bones, strictly speaking. But those are some crazy-looking dudes. Like, almost like hermit crabby, almost? The stalactites are very interesting. She uses her gossamer storm there. What is that? That is so cool! And terrifying! This looks like maybe a lower section of Greymoor. Like seaweed hair almost. M covered in wrappings. The claws on that look nuts. And there's that crescent moon thing again. Uh, we've seen that crest before. I don't know if we know what it's called. It might be the Hunter Crest? I don't remember. And then this looks like perhaps in the Bell Town? Also looks like part of Greymoor with all the cloth garb. There's the harp crest again. Death seed tool. Yeah, this is like a kitchen, like a cannibal kitchen. There's bugs hanging from the ceiling, ladles and stuff. This guy's got a ladle strapped around him. Is that a cauldron on his back? No, that was just him. He is a chunky dude. All right, here's the, the nut tool again. The triple pins. This, this must be Forest of Bones or the equivalent. That is a... That's a big... That's the same Skull Dude that kicks the random dude in uh, Bone Bottom in the original trailer. Cool. Fight with Lace. We've seen this before. 
briefly. Yeah, this does appear to be relatively late game if that's what your health looks like. Then again, I guess they can change the UI in the trailer to keep things fresh and so we don't know when in the game they happen exactly. Okay, that appears to be the victory of the Grand Hunt. That's so cool. Yep, day one with Game Pass. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this analysis with me. If you have any more things that you noticed in the trailer or just want to share your extreme hype of this trailer with me, feel free to leave a comment in the description. This, oh boy, not the description, I'm sorry. I'm just so flustered, I'm so excited. In the comment section, let me know what you think about this trailer, your thoughts on anything you may have noticed that I may have missed out on. I'm going to be rewatching this thing 10 times over and just internally screaming. We have more news. Better than that, we have a trailer. And from what I understand has been talked about, I haven't seen any discussion of this game. This is just my breakdown of what I think of the trailer. From what I understand... It should be out within the next year's time, whether that be the like this year still or if it'll be next year, whatever the case may be. I am super excited and I am so happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is not like my usual content, but boy, am I excited. So thank you guys so much. Do the YouTube stuff down below. If you like the video, pop in the discord, say hi, leave a comment, and I will certainly see your smiles soon. See ya!